Hi, it's Wendy Lane Wright, the Hollywood Talent Manager in Los Angeles, California. And usually, you know, I try to stay very positive, very supportive, and very helpful. And often I give you advice based on some of the mistakes other people make so you don't make them as well. But sometimes, you know, I just have to give a video that's based on um, how annoying people are <laughs> who try to get into this business. And I'm talking specifically about parents of children, uh, usually mothers or fathers who have babies and they want to put them into commercials. Um, you people are very, very, very annoying. And I'm going to tell you why. You think that your child is the only child that exists. And what you don't realize is that when you send um, a headshot or a picture of your baby, you know, posing and their head crooked and, you know, standing in front of a tree and all the other things that you do, we see thousands and thousands of children. Your child is not as, all, as special to us as it is to you. And you have a lot to learn about the business and how the business works. There's a lot entailed for getting a child into show business. And any parent who's got children into show business can post below this and explain to these new parents what I'm talking about. It is a very complicated, stressful um, hard business. You don't just get your babies into commercials. That is not how it works. When a casting director is looking for a baby for a product, they have to go through 5,000 babies to pick one. You know, and they might look at the pictures of all these babies and all the people in their offices looking at the pictures of all these babies, and they might come up with a couple they, they want to meet. Uh, and see how their personalities are, and then they're going to put that baby in the commercial. So if you email someone like me, a talent manager, and say, Hi, I have this really cute baby. He's 18 months old, and I want you to put him in a commercial. That is not how it works, and you sound ridiculous saying that because you don't understand how the business works. And I also, I really hate the fact that you want to stick your little baby into a professional industry you know nothing about. You would never do that. Like... Put your child into soccer or a daycare or something without finding out what it's about. How does it work? How, is, how do other people uh, experience it? You know, what are the reviews of that place? What are the things that you have to do? How, how, what is the schedule going to be? What's required of you? There's stuff you would ask when you're putting your child into show business. So when you email someone and say, you know, I want you to put my child in a commercial, you should be emailing me and saying, how does this business work? Do you have something I can read? Something I can watch to understand how the business works so I can think about what it is and then decide if it is something that is right for my child. Does it fit my child's personality? Does it fit my lifestyle? Would it fit my budget? Is it safe for my child? You parents need to stop trying to get glory out of your children. By putting your children, you know, you want to get your, you want to feel good about yourself by throwing your babies into commercials. That is not going to make you feel good about you. You need to do something in your own life that makes you feel good about you. I'm always worried about parents that want their babies in commercials and things like that because it leads all of us in the business to believe there's something off with that parent. I mean, who would put their babies in, a, in, in the show business, you know? It's ridiculous. So, you know, you really should be doing it for the right reasons. Uh, first of all, why does your baby need to be in show business? Your baby is trying to, like, teeth, learn to speak and talk and sit up and go to the bathroom. You know, it's, it doesn't need to be in show business. And why would you even subject yourself and your family to that kind of thing? Most agents don't even want to deal with parents of babies and don't take babies on. You know, only a handful of agencies deal with parents and babies. And the biggest problem agents and managers have with kids are their parents. Because the parents are always pushing their children to do something the child doesn't even want to do. And obviously that's the case with parents and babies. Okay, your baby didn't express to you they want to be in show business and be hus you know, chauffeured around to all these auditions and have to show up in all these places. And, and even though they don't know what's going on, you know that you're doing it all for you. So please do not contact me and ask me to put your baby in commercials if you won't even take the time to watch the videos that I've posted for free or buy the ebook that I made just for parents about how the business works and how to get your kids into commercials. I 
was a stage mom as well. In addition to being a manager and an agent, I also had a six, a six or seven year old, I think she was six or seven when she started, a child who got into commercials because she really was photogenic and loved being in front of the camera. You've got to understand that that's something your child wants to do. It's got to be something that your child enjoys. It shouldn't be something you're throwing at your child and forcing your child to do. Okay, so I have very little tolerance for parents who have babies who don't want to learn about the business. So if you contact me, I'm going to suggest you buy my ebook before you even expect a, res a response from me because there's so much to learn and you have no idea what you're talking about. And I would rather you read the book and find out how does it really work? What do agents expect? What are casting situations like? How often do my children get hired? What's required of them to audition? What's required of me? How much time does it take? How much money does it cost? Does my baby need headshots? Does my baby need a work permit? There's so much you need to learn, okay? Learn it first and then contact me. And if I think your child has something extremely special that I would like to spend my time working on to help you get your child ahead, I will call you and let you know. And if not, you won't hear from me, okay? That's how it works in the business. A little bit of reality, psh, psh, a little slap of reality there, parents. Um, you need to hear it, so I'm telling it. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye.